until they took their relationship too far. Today, people who say we had sex and it ruined our friendship. for your best friend. Meet Shara. She was best friends with Grambling for two years until they slept together nine months ago. Now, she hasn't seen or spoken to Grambling since then, and she's ready to confront him today. Now, we're gonna give you an opportunity to see Grambling in just a few moments, but first, what happened? Well, me and Grambling, we were friends for two years. We were the best of friends. We talked to, to each other about everything. He, um... He came over to my house one night after getting to an argument with his uh, girlfriend, and I consoled him a little bit I'll too much. I'll bet you did. <laughs> <laughs> and afterwards, I didn't hear from him again. I called him. So wait a minute, okay, so you, so you guys slept together that night? Yes. You consoled him a little too much? Yes. And two consenting adults, <laughs> we know what happened, okay. So after that, you didn't talk? No, I, I tried to reach him. I called him and left messages. He never returned my calls. Um, I've talked to his mother. She, she'd always say that he was sleeping or he w wasn't home. <laughs> We've all used that excuse, haven't we? <laughs> so how does that make you feel? Hurt, very upset. I feel this like... was your best friend for two years. Yes, uh, and now I feel like we weren't even friends. He, he couldn't have been my friend. Why do you think he's acting this way? I don't know. I think he's, he thinks he's Don Juan or Casanova <laughs> or something. Um. <laughs> I mean, before this happened, before this night of oh, passion happened, did you think of him more than a friend? Um, not at first, but as our friendship went on, I started becoming attracted to him. Oh. <laughs> so maybe, okay, so, so maybe, in, I'm trying to play amateur, amateur psychologist, but maybe in his thinking that you just latched on after this, this night? Well, I don't think I latched on. He, he didn't say no or anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what do you miss about him? What do you miss about his friendship? I miss everything. I miss talking to him. I miss seeing him almost every day like I did. And we used to give you know, advice on each other's relationships. I, don't, I, I know it can't ever be the same since we, we've slept together now. But um, I thought we could at least still talk. So do you think, you, you think there's no way it can go back to being just friends? Anybody here disagree? Yes, sir, stand up, please. Yes. No, no, never. Uh, they had a certain kind of relationship that was, uh, you know, platonic. And when that changes any sort of professional or platonic relationship, like a doctor and a patient or a lawyer and a client, you know, or two friends, if they sleep with each other, that sort of um, even uh, relationship ends and, you know, one takes advantage of the other or they both take advantage of each other, it's never going to be the same. It's never going to be the same. Are well, you... I think it could be the same. I mean, but, but most relationships start out this way. You're best friends with this guy or girl, and then it moves on to and takes on a different level. And you should be friends first. I think you should be friends before you, I mean, you should be friends before with Before you whoever. do the nasty. I know what you're saying. <laughs> All right, so, so why are you here today? I want to know why he, why I haven't heard from him. I want to know why he's dogged me the way he has. He hasn't. I'm upset. I'm very upset. I want to know, too. Don't you? Yeah. Rambling, come on out. <laughs> Hi, Grambling. What's up? This used to be your best friend. Hold up. Dig this <laughs> here. What's up, baby? I'll come up. Between us. 
You know what? You called me off guard, you know what I'm saying? And you initiated it. And you know I was hurting for my little woman when I broke up with her. You could have came a little better than you came. Excuse me, it takes two to tango. <laughs> One. Hold up. Wait, man. I'm not saying that. Let me finish now, sugar. What I'm saying is, is that when things went down the way they did, I wasn't ready for it. You caught me off guard. You seemed ready. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, were, you seemed very ready to me. See, so so <laughs> did she initiate it? Hold up, Ricky. So, <laughs> what, I'm trying, what I'm trying to get you to understand is, what I'm trying to get you to understand is, see, I, didn't, I wanted to approach this this way because you said that you were hurt. And sugar, I never want to hurt you. All I'm but saying. But you did. You hurt me. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Now, since you're going at it this way, then it's the only way I can come back at you. You initiated it. You dig what I'm saying? Well, why I didn't you stop her? her? If you weren't in the mood, right. why didn't you just say no? Right. Just say no. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's just a dog in me, I guess, because I got some help. And, what's it, and is it also the dog in you that didn't return her phone calls? I didn't return her phone calls because I wasn't ready for her advances. I wasn't ready in to In nine pursue. months? He could have called me in nine months. I could, I could kind of come out here with a huge belly right now, pregnant, and you wouldn't have known anything, or I could have come out here with a new infant. You know what? That's garbage. No, it's know, not right? garbage. It's not. You know what? It's not. If it was, if it was more than that, and you knew it was more than that, you should have told me. We supposed to have an open conversation. Excuse we to have me, I tried to call you, but you weren't. <laughs> you no, never returned my phone calls. No, baby, we could have talked about, about it. I'm talking about before that. It could have been, you could have came out and told me how, exactly how you felt as opposed so to. So what are you saying, Gremlin? Did you feel awkward after this, this night happened? You just felt yeah, like you I couldn't felt... go back to being friends with her? Yeah, because you have to understand. Now, this is my friend. I consider her to be my friend. Although, fine as hell, she's my friend. You dig what I'm saying? And I consider her to be just that. And I confided in her. I told her my secrets. You know, we had that type of relationship. And I didn't see her sexually, although there was an attraction. Obviously. Said, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. But, uh, you know, I just didn't want things to turn out the way they did. And then when. Yeah, it's, I, it's so unfortunate that you two were such good friends, and nine months has gone by, and you haven't seen each other or talked to each other. No, nah, well, see, majority of that is my fault because. Well, all of it is your fault. It's all your fault. I tried to talk to you. The hell with that, man. I I've tried to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna do it. So can you go back to being friends? No, it's not the same. It's never gonna be the same. Because, uh, you know, once, once you had a woman, you, you've had a woman. You See, can't he wants to move far. on. He is the dog. He is a dog. Hold on. Wait a minute. Before y'all get to calling me a dog. Yes. First of all, okay, you are supposed to be a consenting adult. Uh -huh. And if you could not handle the fact that you slept together and then you could go on being friends, then you should not have done it. She said at least she wants to speak to you and hold the conversation. But you did what you had to do and hit your head. Hey, you and what, what? Is, what is your excuse for that? You were not man enough to at least... You, excuse me, you were not man enough to at least speak with her after that night and say, well, I feel a little uncomfortable about this, so I don't know what we should do. Maybe I need a little space. But you didn't even give her that much consideration. And if I were you, I wouldn't even want to be his friend anymore. Why would you want to speak to somebody like that? It was like a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am type deal. Hold up. Wait a minute, I mean, hold now's up. your perfect chance. Hold Everyone's up. thinking you're a dog. Wait do you want to apologize to her, Grambling? Yeah, it's I your do perfect want to apologize opportunity. to her. But hold up. for a dog. His, Wait a minute. The paternity that he belongs to prides themselves on being dogs. He's a dog. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is, is this. Let me address her comment, and then, you know, I'll get into that. It's not a question of me being man enough to do anything, sugar, because I'm man 100% all the way around. No, you understand what I'm saying? No. What right. I'm saying is, is that I was not prepared to go into a relationship with her the way that she wanted the but relationship But it doesn't seem like go. she was even asking for that. She was just wanting me to f return her phone well, call. That, no, it's At not least. about that. Sex <laughs> changes people. Now, bros view sex different than women. How we... do they do... Damn, I just dig a hole in myself. Tell think. me. <laughs> Tell me. I I'm really curious. All right. I view sex as a point like... It means something if you care about the person and if it's... If it's just sex and you don't care about the individual, I mean, you know. 
Gotcha. It's, it's just, you know, knock it it's off. It's just sex. You, th yeah. you don't think girls can just treat it as just sex? No, because women try to analyze stuff too much. All man. right. Do you want to apologize? Sugar, I am so sorry. All I mean, right, we heard the sorry. Next up, a woman confronts her best friend who she hasn't gotten along with since they had sex. Don't go away. We'll be right back. <laughs> Meet Allison. She says everything changed after she slept with her good friend Terry. She says she feels used and wants to know why he has been treating her like dirt. We're gonna meet Terry in just a few minutes, but first, Allison, what happened? Well, it started out, we were really close for about six months. We did everything together, and then about the week before prom, I broke up with my boyfriend. I asked him to take me to my prom as a friend so that there'd be no emotional ties there. So you said that to him. I want yes. to take you as my friend. I want to so... take you as my friend so we can just have a bunch of fun. And then um, day after prom, he started getting jealous. I was flirting with people. So then Monday, I went over to his house and things got out of hand. We ended up having sex. And from that point on, I started... <gasps> I... <laughs> no. <laughs> and you just wanted to be his friend. How did that happen? Well, I guess there were some feelings underneath, but I never thought it would come to that. You know, I just accepted the fact that we were just friends, and I was fine with that. Mm -hmm. And so after this happened, I saw him dating other people, and I started to get jealous, and I wanted to know what was going on, if I was something more, and he obviously still thought we were friends, so I didn't speak to him for six months. We didn't talk at all. So y'all don't get on her, too, right? <laughs> I mean, you, so you're the one who cut off the friendship? Right, I hung up on I So hung she up was on the dog. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the sound effects. So, but I'm the one that called because, him back up. Because he didn't want to be your boyfriend, you stopped talking to him? Because I felt like he'd used me, like, I felt really hurt and used. Like, I was just one of the other, one of the many other girls that he was out dating and sleeping around with. I felt like all of a sudden he placed me in that same category, that mm -hmm. I wasn't his close friend anymore. Which, which goes along with your theory, Grambling, that women don't th think of sex as just sex. They want a relationship. Is that Thank you very right? much. It okay. goes deeper than just not all the time. Sleeping not together true. For one night. Not all the not time. Not true, yes. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, Ricky, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sugar, do you have a man? Because obviously you don't, because your mouth is running a little bit too much. Yeah. I'm Stand to back you. up here, Missy. First of all, okay, excuse me, I'm, I'm talking, talking now. To you, no, you Aphrodite. said your you comment. Your I'm down. saying mine, okay? Yeah. Now. First of all, no, 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 excuse me. No, no, no. You asked a question, excuse I'm me, giving you an answer. Dumb, and my answer to you, you first of all is Go wait excuse me did you ask me a question no, this is my answer wait what did he say he wanted to know if you had a boyfriend okay first of all my answer is yes i do have a man Where you at? and second of all even if i didn't i would not want to date such a poor excuse for a man as you are <laughs> All right, we gotta leave it at that. We gotta leave it at that, Grambling. We talked with you last segment. This is her turn. You know what? It's about to get hot in here, dude. Back to Anna. <laughs> Back to saying? Allison and Terry. Now, We're Allison, do you wish? Flat. Do you wish you never slept with Terry? I do because I. It's totally changed now. We had some. We had a good friendship where I could call him up and say, "Well, let's just go to the next city for the heck of it." And I mean, he would do something spontaneous. It would cheer me up. He was a really good friend to me. And now I can. I can't look at his eyes and see that he feels bad that I was hurt. Mm -hmm. It's like it didn't mean anything to so him. So you're here today to find out some answers to your questions. I want to know if I even meant anything to him at all. All right, let's find out. Terry. <laughs> Go ahead, girl, ask him. So did I mean anything to you at all? Or was I just a one-night stand type of thing? Well, it wasn't during the night. You skipped school to come over and see me, remember? But we came over to talk. <laughs> okay. No, you meant I me. Mean, we're good friends. We hung out, you know, six months. We're good friends. It's just when you came over 
like skipping school, coming over and like at prom, you're acting stupid and saying you want to sleep with anybody. Damn, you, you, she got all drunk, said, I want to sleep with anybody. I don't care who it is. Damn, so you I was drunk, right? <laughs> you said, oh, you were drunk. You got Thank jealous, you. though. Sorry. You would be you Allison, you got Allison, ticked off. if you did indeed say that, then you were acting pretty stupid. Yeah. OK, I admit it. But the thing is, is he got all ticked off, and he was jealous. He walked away, and I was like, what was his problem? I, you know, if he Were was, you jealous? I just thought she was being stupid, maybe a little bit. I mean, I didn't want to be around a girl that's sitting there acting all stupid, going, I want to sleep with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? So do you regret sleeping together? Um, I think it ruined our friendship that we had. But I don't, yeah, probably I regret it. Do you miss your friendship with Allison? Yeah, I do. Is there any way you can go back? Well, both of us are a lot different now. How are you different? Well, we both have changed a lot. Um, now, anytime we go anywhere, she, every guy is like, oh, that guy's fine, this and this. And she's, that's all she pretty much talks about or thinks about. Mm -hmm. And she used to be real sweet and innocent-like, and now she's changed. Because you slept together, you think you see her that way? I have no idea. Because if she's no longer innocent, neither are you. That's true. Okay. Yes. Excuse me, I really think that all four of you can be friends. It's because you have to have a certain type of mind. You were once friends. You can have it again. Erase what had happened. Mistakes. How can you erase what happened? It does happen. You have to set it in your mind because you had something that was once special, you know, and don't let like a simple, well, not a simple act, but an action like sex, you know, ruin everything because what you had before was beautiful. I mean, just... No, wait a minute. Oh, Once no. you've seen that best friend naked, doesn't that change things? <laughs> Wait a minute. I, dis I disagree. Not saying what you're saying is right. You should be able to go that way. But I disagree on the simple fact on our situation because I confided in her. She was my best friend. I mean, I, I can't make but it more But if you valued her that. as a best friend back then, why did you take the risk that because night? I mean, I pers we pursued a sexual relationship, and, and I, you just don't do that if you're friends. If you're friends, you're friends. Friends don't f each other, man. You just be your friend. You understand what I'm saying? You, okay. You do you believe in each other. that you should be friends within a relationship? Sure. I just don't. I won't view you the same way, baby. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna run over you. I got to have you either one way or another. I'm sorry. It's gonna be the other. All right. Yes. <laughs> if all of you guys are such good friends, then why couldn't you all talk it out? After everything happened, I mean, if you were such great best friends, and after it was over, <laughs> why couldn't you talk it out like best know. friends would? I don't know about their situation. That was immaturity on my part because I did, I was not prepared to deal with with Don. So you know, that's just the way it would happen. All right, now, Allison, do you still have a crush on Terry? I still have feelings for him, and I think that's why it's hard to be his friend because. I feel, because I don't feel that it's mutual, and it's also, I don't feel like he cares about the fact that I did get really hurt by it because I did care about him. Mm -hmm. And it's like I can't look in his eyes and see that it bothers him at all. It's just, it creates a lot of tension Give for me. Give it a shot. Are <laughs> <laughs> like, you going to punch him out? <laughs> Terry, do you have a woman right now? No. Allison? No. You better not have a woman. <laughs> yeah, you don't have a woman either? I don't have a man. <laughs> Can you make things work as a couple? I mean, call me crazy. Well, things are, things are a lot different now, though. And like when we first, I think, I've, she says that I used her, but I felt like I got used because I feel the reason why we had sex is because she was getting ready to go to college and she wanted to find out what sex was before she left. That was your misinterpretation, I think. <laughs> it was mine. All right, I'm not yeah. going to push it. Good luck, you two. Next, a guy <laughs> confronts his best friend who he says started hounding him after they slept together. Don't go away. tries to rule your life. Meet Ronald. He and Denise have been friends for seven years. That's a long time. He says everything was great until they started sleeping together. Ronald, now how did that happen? Oh, I've been on Denise for like seven years and um, we used to talk about everything. Ain't nothing that she didn't know about me and there wasn't anything that I didn't know about her. 
I mean, we did it. We did things together. I mean, it was just we were like the closest of friends. And then until one night she um, asked me, um, she wanted a, um, a sex partner. You know what I'm saying? She said, wanted a sexual relationship. So I'm like, um, yo, I'm all for it. You know, I'm a man. You know, I wasn't saying nobody else. Makes perfect sense. That's what I wasn't saying anybody else. I had just broke up with my um, daughter's mother, so you know, I didn't see what it was no so problem. So she with. came to you. Yeah, she came to me. And so you say that the relationships changed now. Oh, it, it changed. I mean, it it changed drastically. I mean, <laughs> tell me how it's changed. I mean, it's like now, um, they, I'll, I'll go somewhere. I say I have a friend over at my house, and uh, she'll call, and she'll be like, um, "Well, um, who's that over there?" I'm like, "Why?" She said, um, I just want to know. I'm like, why? Why do you want to know that? Why are you worrying about who's over here? You know? And so I, I, and I told her, um, look, worry about what you do. Don't worry about what I'm doing, OK? So she, she tells me, that, um, and well, it really started with, she um, used to tell me, uh, her friend, she got a friend to tell me how much she, was lo um, how much she loved me. Before, we, um, before anything she told me, she said her friend um, told her, how much she loved me. So she called me, got a friend to call me and tell me how much she cared about me. And I wasn't really ready for the relationship because I knew too much about her. So mm -hmm. I didn't really want that type of relationship with her. Look at Grambling but, over there. He's saying, my theory, my theory again. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't really want that type of relationship with her because of past relationships okay, I so had with Okay, so you say you didn't want that kind of relationship. You didn't want to be her boyfriend. Then why did you continue and oh, have no, you been first, continuing At first, I didn't want to be, at first, I, I was thinking about it. Until after what she had done, she was uh, she was already seeing somebody, but she didn't tell me about it, and oh. I wasn't seeing anybody. So you know, I figured why she seeing somebody and I'm not. You know, she never told me about him until um, she told me about it like a couple of months later. So I'm like, forget it. I'm not even gonna try to have a relationship. So I'm is it possible to get the friendship back to stop having sex? I mean, and I, just want be I want to. I want to. I wanted. I wanted to have, um, get the relationship back. Me and her best um, bestest friends like we was, but. She just got to stop worrying about what I'm doing. All right. You want to talk to Denise, everyone? Yeah. Denise, come on out. <laughs> Hi, Denise. Hi. Do you really hound him? No, not as much as he say. I'm saying me and him been friends for seven years, all right? The relations, we messed up our friendship by having sex. I tried And continued to... messing up the friendship by having <laughs> sex. I'm saying, I tried to build the friendship back, OK? Before we had sex, it wasn't nothing I couldn't ask him. It wasn't nothing I couldn't say to him, you know? And being as though I'm trying to build that friendship back, I feel as though I can, you know, ask him what I want to ask without him, you know, getting upset. I mean, before if I call him, I'm like, what's up? What you doing? Here, tell me. I mean, here, answer the question, plus 10 other things that I don't even ask. So, now, he, but... so he automatically assumes that you're jealous because you guys are sleeping together. Yeah. Oh, you are. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> he seems I'm to saying... think that you're in love with him. Are you in love with him? No, I care about him. Oh, you're not anymore, <laughs> but you were. I was. All right. I mean, <laughs> bef I mean, all right, before we even started sleeping together, right? I mean, we knew each other for some years. I'm a jealous person anyway. Before, I mean, if. I wanted to see him or be with him just as friends, and he wanted to be with somebody else. I still get mad. Mm -hmm. You know, I still get mad. It's not just because we were sleeping together that I got mad. Okay. You say that you're no longer in love with him. Are you two still sleeping together? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald, Ronald, you're talking out one ear, and uh, what are you gonna do here? Do you want? You can't. Have both ways. Either you get your best friend back or you stop playing nookie nookie. <laughs> it, it doesn't happen like that. I mean, she, we, we, we don't initially plan to do it. I mean. <laughs> I know. It just happens. It just happens. And it's her fault, right? Yeah, it's her fault. Right, right, right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Monday, when I was talking to him before we came on the show, I told uh... him, I said, I told him, I said, I said, we might start arguing. We might not be friends after this. He said, well, shows we might as well get one more in. <laughs> I was joking with her, though. And she know I was joking with her, though. I was joking with her, though. She Shame on joking. you, Ronald. Did yeah. you get one more in? No, no, I was just joking with her. Oh, OK. That's the type, that's the type of relationship we had. We had, we had joke like that. We could play like that. 
and you know, it wasn't, we had no problem with it. Okay. Like, uh, uh, All right. What do you want to say? <laughs> See, after you had sex with her, it was the feelings you was playing with hers afterwards because you kept on going back, having sex with her, having sex with her, having sex with her. It's just like if you and her was boyfriend and girlfriend, that's the type of relationship y'all having. You just keep doing it to her, and she keep coming back doing it to you. And then you, like you said, you had someone over at your house, and she called, and she wanted to know who it was. That's her feeling. She felt so much for you afterwards. It was all good. So she was wanting to know who was at your. All right. It'd have been her. But you seem to know a lot about this relationship. What should, check, what should these two people do? They should. They should go out. together. Later for that friend stuff. They known each check, other for check seven this years. Out, though. I believe. Wait. I believe that y'all should get together. Y'all known each other for seven years. Y'all know y'all like to know what's all about. Y'all should get together. Check, check Will this they out, follow though. her advice? We'll check, never know. Check but check I gotta take out. a break, Ronald. Next up, a woman tells her best friend for the first time that she wants him. Uh huh. We'll be right back. One may shy away from getting romantically involved with a friend, but not our next guest. Meet Lori. She has been friends with Brad for almost 10 years. That beats you guys. Wow. But says she's ready to take the friendship to new heights. Really? Yeah. Now, Brad is waiting backstage in our soundproof isolation booth. All right. <laughs> and he has no idea what Lori wants to tell him. Lori, what exactly do you want to say to Brad today? We've been friends for 10 years, and over that 10 years, we've been through everything together. We've become best friends. And I always, I always knew I loved Brad, but I thought I loved him as like a brother. And um, last September, he decided he was going to move um, from where we live to Connecticut, which is about a six-hour drive. And um, when he left, you know, all our friends told me, you know, there's something between you two. And I was just like, I love him like a brother. But there, there's something there. <laughs> so there's something there. So why has nothing happened in 10 years? Just, um, I always looked at it. He was always there for me. So I didn't have the opportunity to, for him to not be there, um, to see that I really loved him more than a friend. I just, we're so close that I, I don't have any brothers. And I just, that's how I looked at him as, you know? She's so sweet. I want this to work, don't you? <laughs> So, are you ready to tell him today? I think so, yeah. This is a big deal. Do you think this might change? What if he's not interested in you romantically? Do you think this is going to change the friendship forever? No. I, I mean, listening to all these, you know, stories backstage, I, even the worst horror stories up here, I, I, I don't see that happening to us. <laughs> that would be grappling. <laughs> I don't see that happening to us, even if we were to get together. Mm -hmm. But um, I just... I have to get it off my chest. Tell I me mean, what you love about Brad. Oh, he's, well, he's gorgeous, first of all. You can see that. <laughs> um, Don't you be getting out of your seats. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's just, he, he's a very kind person. He has um, a really big heart. He's there for me no matter what I do wrong. He keeps me focused. Um, OK, enough best. said. Why don't you take a deep breath? <laughs> Audience, take a deep breath. I'm going to go back to the isolation booth. All right. You, can, you guys have never seen backstage, have you? Come on back and take a look. Here we are. Backstage. I've never even been back here. Hi. There he is. Brad, come on out of the isolation booth. Brad's coming back, everyone. Let's give him a round of applause. that someone had a secret crush on you and you didn't know who that person was, did you? I, I had an idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, not really. All right, here's the perfect opportunity. Go ahead. Brad, I've always known that I loved you and I, I think you know that as well. Um, but since you moved to Connecticut, um, it, it's true what everyone was saying before. There, there's something more there than just loving you as a brother. I, I'm in love with you. <laughs> You go, girl! Well
Well done. So Brad? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've known each other 10 years. Somewhere around there. 10 years. Is there any chance that you could take this friendship to new heights? It's a possibility. You got to give her some credit. This took a lot of guts for her to come here and admit this in front of all of us. And I got to say, they make a lovely couple. Yes. I think the reason that it might work out for them is because they're discussing it before. Like, they just did it all spontaneously. So, like. So before they do the nookie nook, they're talking about it here on the Ricky Lake show. <laughs> okay, so you think they have a chance? Yeah, I think so. So, so what do you say? Gonna go out a night for a night on the town in New York City tonight? Yeah, maybe. Right. Sounds okay. Keep us posted, okay? Yeah. Yes, stand up. I just want to say that when you guys step on that threshold, when you, if you're friends with someone and you are there at that point where it looks like you want to get into a sexual thing with somebody, you have to be able to be willing to give up that friendship. You know, there's always that possibility that that friendship might not work. And before you get into something like that, it's important to talk about it. And, and for Shara, I think that you're better off without him as a friend because he has no respect for a woman. The way that he's been talking to you and th with his attitude, with the attitude that you have, Grambling, I'm sorry, just, you know, just from right now, you know, you have no respect for a woman. And it's, it's just really ridiculous. And I feel sorry for you. And do you know he had Girl, the nerve to be touched? He had the nerve to be touched by this? <laughs> He you know what, what's wrong about this is that you have, you have, you have, you don't know me and we going through all these changes over dumb. All right, we can't hear you, ma'am. One more time, let's give them a hand. We wish them the best of luck. Good luck, you two. When we come back, we'll meet a guy who wants a relationship with his best friend, but she's not looking for romance. We'll be right back after this. Tina and Jason, what is your situation, guys? Well, me and Jason's been knowing each other for five, five years, and um, I had gotten involved with the, my baby's father, and we really couldn't be together, so we used to talk to each other all the time. I used to tell him all my fantasies, and he used to tell me all his fantasies and stuff, and so after I broke up from my baby's father, um, we decided, well, he came over my house. And, Who's we, you and Jason? Yeah, me and Jason. Um, he came over my house one day, and I had decided, well, that I wanted to sleep with someone, someone else because I had only been with one person. So I had chose Jason. He did the honors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. And now what, Jason? It's like, um, during that course of time, I really got to like her even more. I mean, we were best friends. And then it's like, I think I fell in love with her. And um, I asked her for a relationship and it's like, I wanted a relationship really bad, and the more and more I pushed for it, the more and more she pushed away. So she pushed away, huh? Yeah, um, I pushed away because I was involved with my baby's father, and it didn't work out, and I wasn't ready. So you know what that proves? Grambling's theory doesn't work at all. It sure doesn't. <laughs> it's the opposite here, Grambling. He's the one who wants the relationship, not her. Well, damn, Ricky, five out of ten, ain't? I mean, yeah, what? Okay. <laughs> so what exactly do you want? Well, I still want. I want my friendship back from Jason. I want to be able to tell him anything and everything because now when I call him and stuff I can't tell him everything that deals with another guy because he sometimes he gets hurt so mm -hmm. I don't want to hurt him because I still want to be his friend though so you think you can just be friends Jason I don't know I mean I still want to be in a relationship but I guess I have to so you'll just wait it out right oh <laughs> all right well good luck you two good luck Before the show, we polled our audience, right guys? Did we give you guys some polls? All right. On the celebrities they would most like to be friends with and the celebrities that they would most like to have sex with. Mm-hmm. We gave the men and women a list of five celebrities to choose from and from this list they had to select one to be friends with and one to have sex with. The men selected from Sharon Stone, Whoopi Goldberg, <laughs> Heather Locklear, Vanessa Williams, and Hillary Clinton. All right, the question is, which did the guys choose uh, to, for the woman, the celebrity, to be friends with? Wait a minute, stand up. Wait, let's get a lady, what do you think? Stand up, who do you think they chose? Um, Heather. Heather, they'd want to be friends with Heather Locklear? Yeah, right. <laughs> what do you think? Friends? 
Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg? Yeah. Most of you think Whoopi Goldberg? Yeah. You would be right. All right. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg it is. And you know what? They would be right because I know Whoopi and she is a great girl. Okay, which one did they want to have sex with? Sharon. Stand up. Sharon Stone. Everybody think Sharon Stone? Yeah. You think Heather Locklear? Yeah. Well, I think Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah. No, the one they wanted to have sex with was Sharon Stone. Yeah. All right. Now it's time to see who the ladies want to be friends with, okay? From the list we have Denzel Washington, Arnold Schwarzenegger, David Letterman, Michael Jordan, and Bill Clinton. All right, guys, let's ask a guy. What do you think? Stand up, sir. Who do you think the ladies chose to, uh, to be friends with? Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. Anybody else? Le no? What do you think? Letterman? Yeah. You're right, David Letterman, David Letterman. All right. Which one do they want to do the nasty with? Let's ask a guy. Who do you think? I think it was Denzel Williams. Den Denzel Washington. What do you think, yes? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. I choose David Letterman. I'm now married, but I would have chosen David Letterman. And who is it? Who's the winner? It's Denzel Washington. All right. That was fun, wasn't it? Oh, boy. All right, when we come back, we will find out what happened to these two people after they appeared on our show. We've been friends for almost two years, but for the last year and a half, I've been totally in love with you. <laughs> and... <laughs> from people asking us whatever happened to the people who told their best friends that they were in love with them. Now this is Ricky and Lizette, and they appeared on our show, I'm in love with my best friend. So guys, what happened since that show? We're best friends, we, nothing's ruined, nothing got ruined, we're, we're best of friends. Wait, wait, nothing got ruined, so what are you saying? As long as you're mature about it, I mean, you, you, could, you could stay friends. And still. <laughs> And still, still, do it. So, so you guys did get together. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well we were together the last time, together like. You and know. now you're still. Yeah. Yeah, we're still. And things are good, and it hasn't changed your friendship. You're still best of friends? Great, I can still call him and tell him anything. All right, so maybe there is hope for you guys. Thanks. Yeah, stand up. I'd just like to say to Brad here, um, What's wrong with you? She's beautiful. She loves you. Don't be a schmuck. Go for her. And for Denise, is this Denise? Denise, take back the relationship. Don't do, if you don't want to, if you don't like how your relationship is going, don't have sex with him anymore. <laughs> Allison, I'm sorry that, you know, things didn't work out, but it's really you, your fault. You shouldn't be here accusing him of that. I mean, you wanted the sex. It's your fault. And Shara, is it Shara? Shara. Shara. Why were you friends in the first place? Oh <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, ma'am. I was just wondering if any of you, the first like three cu couples, do you see yourself talking after the show today, or is this just all talk here? Do you see yourself talking, maybe? Good question. Shara, do you think you'll ever talk to Gramley again? I don't know. <laughs> what about you, Terry? Yeah, we'll talk. You'll oh, talk? Denise? <laughs> you gonna still keep doing it? We're always talking. Let's stop. Let's stop. All right, you heard him. He said it stopped. We'll be right back after this. Hi, I want to thank all of our guests for being here today. It's safe to say that sex will change the nature of a relationship, so if you value your friendship, you might want to think it over before you go jumping into the sack. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.